All right, well, welcome to the inaugural episode of Monday Morning Coffee with James and Lubo. Is it gonna be called like Monday Morning Coffee? I think so. <laughs> Why? Do you have a better name? How about just coffee? Coffee with James and Lubo? Yeah, so it's not like Monday, it's not like morning, just coffee. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> coffee with James and Lubo. Random topics. Yeah. Okay, well, let's pull up a list here. First one here, Lubo. Bananas. I love bananas. You eat a lot of bananas. Yeah, you I eat banana is my breakfast. Why? Because uh, I don't have to cook it. <laughs> Just fill it and eat it, you know? What about, do you like bananas better raw or in smoothies? Raw, probably. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. No, opposite. If I eat a banana that's raw, it doesn't, it kind of actually gives me like a bit of a stomach ache for some reason. But like, I don't know why. Is it like raped or? <laughs> or is it what? <laughs> not ripe, like ripped. <laughs> what is the call when, when the banana is not like ripe? Green. Ripe, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I try to eat them ripe. I don't want to eat them. I don't want to eat them in any other way than that form, you know. Okay, next next topic. Weight loss. Oh shit. So I just like, I, I I climb and I work out, but it's not like that's my aim. I'm gonna lose. I, it used to be in the summer. Remember when we we tried to? Didn't you tell me last night over sushi that you're going strict and you wouldn't even get rice with your sushi? Yeah. Because you wanted to lose weight. You I was a fat kid growing mm, up. I was the fat kid. I like, cannot see you as if, a fat kid. Really? Like, well, if like if you go to my parents' house. You'll see some pictures of me that I was pretty. Well, I've been at your parents' Pretty place. tubby. Yeah, maybe you didn't dig through I, the pictures. No, it's kind yeah, of too I personal. Yeah, I was the fat kid. And then when I was 13, I went and played a lot of tennis. Like I played in a high performance tennis program mm -hmm. and hockey. And then I lost a lot of the weight. Okay. Uh, okay, next topic coffee. I like coffee. You like coffee? I like coffee, but it affects us very differently. You can drink like. An insane amount of coffee, and it has no effect on you no. whatsoever. And if I have a coffee, like, after, like, 5 or 6 p.m., I'm up till, like, 4 in the morning. No. Well, You're I'm just up... like, you have a coffee and go to bed. Yeah, but I'm up till 4 in the morning anyways. For some reason, you can ha you can operate on, like, 4 hours of sleep. Me? Yeah. I can or cannot? Well, a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. Hotels. What? Hotels. Would you rather stay at an Airbnb or a hotel? If the ho hotel has like nice lounge and there's like live music and shit. Well, if I had to choose between Airbnb, we had... In New York? Yeah, and the hotel like that, I would probably go to the hotel. But Airbnb can be fun. like. You but I would take that Airbnb over like a dumpy $75, $100 or a night hotel. Well, where it's just like you get on the bed and you're just like, ugh. Okay, next, next topic. Jewelry. Don't give a shit about it. All right, next topic. Murderers. I, I was watching that Joe Rogan podcast um, where he was talking with Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. And Elon Musk said that one in every million people is as evil as evil gets. More evil than you could ever possibly imagine. I don't think I want to meet any murderer in my life. What if you have met a murderer and you didn't know it? Do you well, think that, you have? No. <clears throat> no? Or maybe he or she just didn't, doesn't give a shit about me. Or whatever. Well, of course, or he'd be dead, but... Maybe not. I don't think like murder is killing every single human that he comes no, I don't in contact so. with. I don't think so either. So, I mean, you know, but I don't think I meant murder. Uh, okay, next topic. Uh, artists. Hmm. What does that make you think of? Um, about anyone creative. doesn't have to be necessarily like a famous person. It can be someone who sees at home and... Yeah, it could be a painter. Paint, it could be an author. It yeah, like, you can, it's like you could dive into a million yeah. different ways of what it's it actually meant. It's pretty much the same like with the books and, and movies. Like w w once you read Harry Potter, you just, you, you create all this movie yeah. in your head and then you see the movie and what you create in your head just like comes in here and this is Harry Potter. And Harry see, Potter. I see. Oh, what's interesting about Harry Potter, big Harry Potter fan. I love Harry Potter. Yeah, um I thought they did an excellent job on the films. They did, but still ruined mine. Did it? I thought it was it was really good because I felt like it made sense to me. Like the the what when I, when I read it, the world I was kind of picturing. I feel like they pretty well captured that and created that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm like hundred percent. They did a really great job. I'm just more talking about. Um Destroying images that other people projected in their head. Yeah, while sure. While reading the, I'm destroying. Uh, probably that's too harsh, but yeah. I, I, I remember I was really disappointed by Ron, and that Hagrid. 
Hagrid, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, that's Hagrid? Oh. What'd you picture Hagrid? I liked Hagrid. You're such a big, burly man. You almost got the same beard as him, man. <laughs> no, I, 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 I kind of thought he was going to be bigger. Really? <laughs> How much bigger of a guy can you I get? Know. Oh, like, my God. Uh, He's whatever. a big boy, that guy. And Ron, I was just like, I, nothing against the, the actor. Just like, it was not ginger enough for me. I don't know how much bigger or how much more of a ginger one could be. I know. <laughs> You're looking for like crazy people. I don't know if they exist. Oh, it's man. a pretty fucked up book. It is a fucked up book. So but I mean, like, but an incredible. I think it's literally the greatest series of all time. Mm. My favorite piece of technology. Uh, obviously, the phone is a pretty amazing gadget. It's kind of like people's little like center. I feel like it's an extension of themselves almost. But I much prefer laptop for doing anything any type of work any type of messaging it's just so much more efficient you're a little different i mean you type with two fingers so you're probably quicker on the phone <laughs> hunting and pecking it's like my dad he used to yell down he's like where's the space bar <laughs> <laughs> it's right there dad it's the big one how do i get a new tab oh new tab that's gonna be a tough one i'll have to come downstairs for that <laughs> so what's your favorite piece of technology Oh, toilet paper. Toilet paper? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Imagine going there and not having toilet paper. Your phone won't fucking help you. <laughs> <laughs> There's no app for that. No app for wiping your ass. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. You are right. Is there any right way how to put a toilet paper in? To me, one thing that annoys me so much is if the toilet paper rack is sitting in a terrible spot. Like, <laughs> if you gotta, like, really reach behind or something, <laughs> it's just like, no! Who possibly thought to put it there? Or if it's, like, too far in front, too far in where you front. almost have to kind of get up a little bit, it's yeah. just like, who, who did that? Yeah. I also hate, uh, well, who doesn't? It's kind of like talking about sheets, but it's like, you know toilet paper that's just terrible quality yeah it's like man just invest the extra 50 cents get the good roll of paper yeah no one wants that crinkly fucking papery shit that even the like pieces of hole. wood inside Ugh. Like, that's sticking your ass is gonna take it out you know? uh, <laughs> that just sounds awful yeah. well i think we picked a, a real good topic to end on here uh, i guess our toilet paper preferences well Cheers. <laughs> we need more people to to listen to our music, to get to know us, ask us questions. Yeah, how do we get those people? All you gotta do is click the little, we got the subscribe thing. All they gotta do is just click subscribe. Yeah. And then we'll do more of these. Maybe people can send in topics mm -hmm. that, they want it, that they want our opinions on or our thoughts on, not necessarily yeah. even opinions. Um, so subscriptions would be very helpful. Yeah. Fucking click the fucking button now.